Hey guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to recover deleted photos or uh, deleted pictures, video, and other media very easily. Not just off of your computer, but off of any type of a memory card such as USB drive, an SD card, memory card. Um, you know, if you had it in your digital camera, um, whatever it is, if it has memory, I'm going to show you how you can recover um, any kind of photos from it. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website it's called recovermyphotos.net I also put this link directly under the video so if you click on it it'll take you to this page where you can download it if you have Windows or even for Mac so it works for one or the other just make sure you download the right one that's recovermyphotos.net once you download it you're gonna have a little icon here you just want to double click it and it's going to bring up the program here now there's three options to get started with the one you're going to start with is uh, to recover photo audio and video um, these here are just additional things you can hover over them to get more ideas of what they are but uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to click on this here and what it's going to do is it's automatically going to detect any kind of an external memory card USB drive or device attached to your computer and right now it's automatically detected my flash drive and it popped it up here and it asked me if this is what I want to do if I want to go ahead and start to scan if I don't I can view all the drives by clicking here and it's going to show me all the drives um, I have on my computer but this is the one I want to scan so I'm just going to click it and there are options if you want to do advanced scan you can do that the majority of the people is not going to have to use this feature um, you just want to select your drive click scan now and depending on the size of the memory card or flash drive or hard drive or whatever it is that you're scanning this could take quite a while to do um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to let mine run here just for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back to the video but um, right off you can see how it's already organizing everything into separate folders based on the type of file that it is and what's great about this tool is you can also choose if I went back to the settings I can go in there and choose um, just specific types of file extensions that I wanted to search for for both videos and uh, audio as well as images so if I only wanted to search for JPEG images or GIF images or PSD or whatever I can just select those and those are the only files that it's going to search for so what I'm going to do um, it's already found 380 files in eight different folders so let me go ahead and just stop it right here you can see it's only one percent done two percent and yes I do want to abort this and then from here you can click on these images and it's going to show you a preview of what the image is before you even recover it so you know exactly what the image is so for example this one's automatically selected as the first image it shows you here it's just a check mark this one here is an image and we can go down through here just you know selecting all these to view them what they are so we know what images we're getting back before we do recover them so once you get those files and you want to recover them basically you want to click recover and then it's going to recover them for you now if you haven't registered the software you will have to register it first um, in order to recover those uh, photos but if you have like I said, any type, any type of a device that, that you, where you need to recover photos and you need to see them before you recover them to make sure that you can recover them. I highly recommend that you download this tool. Um, like I said, that website is at recovermyphotos.net and I did put that link under this video. Go ahead there, check it out. You can get more information and uh, you can also download the trial version here so it can scan your drive and show you what files it can recover before you do register it.